So this is the part that gets all uh, covered in ice and snow in the winter. Handrails don't help you if your feet don't have any traction. Because <laughs> the thing is, if you slip, you can fall down here. These stairs are fake. It used to be all like this, so you'd have to climb down on a rope. We're in what they call the upper level. Well, yeah, careful of slippery rocks. But, so see that fence? That's there for a reason. Just remember wild caves, they don't have fences. So you have to watch where you're going. Check this out. How would you like to walk along here without a fence? So we're in the upper level right now. The stairs will take us to the lower level. Same thing, when this cave was discovered, there were no stairs. You had to climb down with a rope. <laughs> wow. You can see that there were multiple like levels here, but some of them are useful, some are not. Notice how it's suddenly getting colder as we descend down here. So here we are. So it's three-fourths of the mile just to the lower end and it's a dead end and the upper cave it's over a mile but you don't have to come all the way back you can come out and take the trail so we'll take the lower end trust me <laughs> if it's your first cave you don't want to notice the sand could be slippery it acts like a kind of a lubricant on the rocks <laughs> yeah it's not nice and smooth it's all weird but notice the mud puddle if you come here in the winter Sometimes there's like raindrops, water drops coming from all over the ceiling. Yeah. Notice the humidity so you can see your breath too. I wouldn't expect to see any bats today. Why not? Well, long story short, um, they don't they, they don't like people, and they know people use this cave, so they avoid this cave. I think. I've been told during the summer they don't necessarily sleep in caves too. They sometimes just sleep in the trees. I wouldn't know. I don't think I've ever seen a bat in a tree, but. Somebody said so. Notice the orange rock? That's like the rock that was here before the lava flow. The reason this, well, this is a different cave from others, but when this lava flowed here, before the lava flow, there was like um, a canyon. So it flowed down this canyon. How do you like that nice smooth brown rock there? A little different. Sometimes it's cool. You can see all sorts of different colored rocks in these caves. You have to watch your steps. Sometimes you have to think about which way you want to go to avoid the biggest cliffs. So you don't slip and fall. Instead of going the short way, go the easy way or the safe way. But this cave is super easy because there's no real um, holes in the floor. You have to worry about falling through. Other caves, you know, you might be walking down and there's just a hole and you can fall down, trip, get yourself stuck. <laughs> yeah. yeah, without a flashlight, it'd be way too fun. Notice this white stuff is soft, so people have been like writing their names and stuff on the wall. That white stuff's actually alive. It's a bacterium. It's harmless, but they don't want us touching it because they don't want us, you know, making the walls look wrong.
The dark lines are where there's cracks in the ceiling, cracks in the rock. You know, in the cool material, it shrinks. Notice we're walking downhill too. Just like rivers flow downhill, lava flows downhill. So a lot of caves are like this. They start at the top and go down. Sometimes they're really steep, sometimes they're not. This lower end of the cave is easy because it's not so smooth. If we get to do the upper end of the cave, you'll see there's more rocks like this. They call breakdown rocks, where they just fell from the ceiling. The ceiling fell apart and now they're all over the floor. So you have to climb over the rocks. It's a little bit more work, it slows you down, keeps it interesting. Huh, there's a bug flying in front of me. I don't know if you saw that or not. It's on the wall right there. I'm not even sure what kind of bug it is. I've seen moths in here. I don't remember seeing whatever that thing is. Or crickets. Sometimes there's crickets in caves. And this part of the cave is real small too. If we go back the other way, there are parts where it's a lot bigger than this. Doesn't come out on camera as well, but it looks cool in person. <laughs> oh, okay. That's the red rock again, where the wall fell apart. There's like a piece of the wall that fell down there. I think there's people coming, that's what I heard. Voices really echo in these caves. See, there's more places where people have been writing on the wall. Caves are rarely straight, they always zigzag like this, left, right, left, right. Here's a number. I forgot to point these out. They're actually numbered from one end to the other. So we're 88. So at number one would be at the very upper end. The stairs, I think we're like by 77 or something like that. They're not very noticeable. When you see them, they're obvious, but a lot of times you walk by them, you don't even notice them. I don't think they're a certain number of feet. They're not like every hundred feet. They're just kind of random wherever it was convenient for who 